But then, <coughs> don't you think Mabel would uh, like a set of uh, crepe to sheen under clothing? <laughs> I just had a quick look at her when the girl took the lid off the box and <laughs> I, uh, I didn't like to look again. But well, if you want to buy them, buy them. Say you'll take the box. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I don't like to. Oh, don't be so goofy. You've known Maggie Whitaker for years. Here she comes with the slippers. Here you are, Dave. Here are Mum's size. You see, they match the dressing gown exactly. I think Mum will be delighted with that dressing gown, Dad. Well, she should be. It's a bonza dressing gown, the flashest I've ever seen. Yeah, those slippers look pretty good with the feather things on them. Uh, how much are they? Twenty-five shillings. Oh, <laughs> well, you know how to charge here, don't you? Twenty-five bob for a pair of slippers. <laughs> ah, still, it's worth it for Mum. All right, I'll have them. Good. Now, is there something you want for Mabel's Christmas present? Ah, uh, uh, well, um... Oh, I, uh, I haven't sort of made up my mind. Uh, uh, well, uh, would you mind uh, making up your mind, Dave? Oh, Which, uh, oh uh, well, uh, <laughs> I was uh, thinking about those, uh, those uh, quite the same things in the box. Oh, the underwear. <coughs> <coughs> Let me show them to you. Oh, no, no, it's all right. Oh, I've just thought again. It doesn't matter. I don't think I'll get those. Oh, but they're very beautiful. Oh, by the way, that reminds me. Mabel's in town somewhere. I saw her early this morning. She's not on duty until this afternoon. Oh, Mabel's in town, is she? Well, uh, um, uh, I don't think I'll look at those things. Thanks, Miss Whitaker. I'll just go next door into Mr. Wilkins' jeweler's shop. I might see something that'll suit Mabel there. <laughs> Come on, Dave. Uh, I'll join you in the jeweler's shop later, Dave. I'm waiting for me parcel, and I want to slip over and see Mr. Johnson, the bank manager, for a minute. But, Dave, are you sure that we have nothing here that you'd like? Uh, no, I, uh, I don't think so, uh, Thank you, Miss Whitaker. I'll, I'll see you at the jeweler's shop. Hey, wait a minute till I get me parcel wrapped up. Then you can go to the jeweler's while I'm at the bank. Good morning, Mabel. I can uh, guess where you've come into my shop. Oh, good morning, Mr. Wilkins. I've come to buy a Christmas present for Dave. <laughs> I was going to guess that. Well, I have a lovely selection of gifts this year. Uh, who you met her in your feather, by the way? Oh, they're good, Dave. You know, everybody's busy getting their Christmas presents ready, and I've got a lot of shopping to do. Oh, well, uh, I'm here to help you. <laughs> Now, let me see. What would you like for Dave? A nice pair of sleeve links? Oh, no. He's got sleeve links. I gave him those last Christmas. Don't you remember? Oh, ye, aye, ye, yes, of course. Uh, well, what about the brush and comb set? We have a lovely selection here. Well, could I ever look at them? Certainly. <sighs> no. There's a nice line if ever there was one. You see, there's a space here for engraved initials. I, I do the engraving myself. Oh, uh, what about a wristlet watch? A wristlet watch is mm -hmm. a thing to give a young man for a Christmas present. And as it so happens, I have a special gold fuel 15 jewel leave a wristlet watch, which I've marked at a bargain price for Christmas. Uh, uh, here it is, Nate Mabel. Now, what do you think of it? Oh, oh, that's Bonza. Oh, I think David like that. Oh, it's a beautiful thing, and Dave's a lucky young man if he get a watch like that. It's guaranteed for ten years. For ten years? Aye, and it's a splendid timekeeper. Swiss made, you know. Oh. <laughs> I sold one only last week to Mrs. Ramsey. She's given it to her husband for Christmas. Oh, really? Oh, I like that. How much is it, Mr. Wilkins? Uh, three pounds ten, Mabel, and cheap at the price. All right, I'll take that. Would you wrap it up for me, uh, please? Do you wish to put a card in it? Oh, well, I'll write the card at home. Good. Thanks. <laughs> a lovely spell of weather we're having it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hope it keeps fine for Christmas. Well, so do I. Uh, how are you getting on up to the hospital, Mabel? Many pieces up there? Oh, yes. We're pretty busy. I suppose Dave will be coming here to buy you a wedding ring soon. <laughs> oh, Mr. Wilkins, <laughs> you're a tease. <laughs> well, when are you going to be married? Sometime next year. But we're not telling anybody the date yet. <laughs> oh, well, uh, here's your parcel. Thanks. And uh, here's your change. Uh, that's, thank you very much. Ah, uh, see, Dave, come along the road now. Oh, don't you tell him what I bought for him for Christmas. It's got to be a surprise. <laughs> you can rely on me to be discreet. 
Ah, good evening, Dee. Oh, good morning, Mr. Wilkins. How are you, Mother? Oh, good eye, thanks, Doc. What are you doing in here? Oh, just having a bit of a look round. <laughs> oh, Di, you can't <laughs> kiss me in public. Oh, why not? We're engaged and Mr. Wilkins doesn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> of course I don't mind. <laughs> Go right ahead. <laughs> I, I was just telling Mabel that, that you'll be buying a wedding ring here soon. <laughs> yeah, well, it can't be soon enough for me, oh, Mr. Look, Wilkins. <laughs> I've got to be getting back to the hospital, Di. Dr. Ferris is waiting for me in his car. Oh, wait on. Aren't you going to have a talk? I can't, Dave. I'm running late. Come over and see me tomorrow afternoon. I've got a couple of hours off. All right, I'll be over. Uh, well, <laughs> goodbye, Mabel. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> You've got to kiss me goodbye. Oh, Dave, you are awful. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, dear, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, dear, it's nice to see young people in love. Oh, you're not so old yourself, Mr. Wilkins. <laughs> well, goodbye and thanks, Mr. Wilkins. I'll see you tomorrow, darling. All right, good old neighbor, goodbye. Oh, all right. No, Dave, and what can I do for you? I want a present for Mabel. What was she in here for, Mr. Wilkins? I don't know, Dave, you know you shouldn't have asked that. I suppose she was doing a bit of Christmas shopping. Ah, uh, well, perhaps she was, and perhaps she was not. <laughs> now, what can I sell you? Well, I want a present for Mabel, and it's got to be a pretty good present, too. Ah, uh, well, we've got a lovely selection of gifts here, and I look me see. Now, what about a pair of earrings? Uh, no, I, uh, I don't like earrings. Uh, a nice bonny brooch, eh? A brooch, uh, no... Um, what about a wristlet watch? A uh, wristlet watch? Hmm, oh, well, eh, that might be a good idea. Yeah, too right, it's a good idea. Show me some wristlet watches. All right, I've got a special selection of ladies' gold wristlet watches here. I got them in for Christmas, and they make delightful gifts. Uh, now, look here. Here's one of 15 jewel Swiss leather ladies' wristlet watch at the bargain price of three pound ten. Oh, yeah, it's a bonza little watch. <laughs> Do you think Mabel would like it, Mr. Wilkins? Oh, I'm sure she'd like it. I saw one only the other day to Ted Ramsey as a Christmas present for his wife. Oh, yes. Yes, I like that one. Uh, how much did you say it was? Uh, three pound ten. All right, I'll have that. <laughs> and now I want a Christmas present for Dad. Quick before he comes in. He's only over at the bank and he's going to call for me here, sir. Well, what would you like? Do you think Dad would like a wristlet watch? Oh, no, no. Dad doesn't need a wristlet watch. He's got a pocket watch he's had for years. Got it from his father. You know, one of those heavy gold turnips. Oh, I yeah, I remind it well, yeah. Well, no, what about the Russian comb, sir? There's a nice selection here. Now, look at this, sir. Now, just look at it. There's a space for the initials. Oh, that's good now. Dad can use the comb for his beard because he hasn't got much hair now. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, that's a splendid Russian comb set. It'll last for years. All right, I'll take that. Now, wrap both the parcels together, will you? And, oh, uh, when Dad comes in, uh, don't you let him know what I've bought for his present. Oh, and uh, if you see Mabel again, don't let on to her about the wristlet watch, will you? <laughs> the wristlet watch? No, you can rely on me. I won't say a word. <laughs> <laughs> Good old. Well, how much is that brush uh, you said, anyway? A 32 and 6. Well, that'll be all right. Now, I wrap them up and... Uh, just the, uh, uh, here you are. Here's the money. Hey, uh, Dad. Fine spell of weather we have, indeed. <laughs> yes, not bad. I hope it keeps fine for Christmas. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> are you having a busy Christmas? Oh, it's a bit early yet, but the Christmas buying is just starting. It should be a good Christmas, you know. Uh, do you know we're thinking of forming a chamber of commerce in Snake Gully? Oh, what's that? Are we all the businessmen club together and have a committee? Oh, you mean uh, a sort of shire council? Aye, but it's only for businessmen. You see, it just shows how Snake Gully's going ahead, doesn't it? <laughs> too right it does. Yeah, too right it does. You're right at that. Well, here's your parcel and here's your change, Dave. Merry Christmas. Oh, thanks, Mr. Wilkins. And, oh, I suppose I'll be seeing you before Christmas anyway. <laughs> oh, here comes Dad. Sure. Good morning, Mr. Wilkins. Ah, good morning, Dad. Have you come to do a bit of Christmas? Me shopping too? Well, uh, I've already done some, but I suppose I might as well do a bit more. Uh, did you see Mabel Day? Uh, oh, yes, Dad. <laughs> she looks well, doesn't she? Uh, she always looks well. Uh, just uh, nick over and uh, uh, wait in the uh, car for me, will you, Dave? Oh, it's all right, Dad. I'll stay uh, here. No, but... no, no, listen, go, uh, go along and wait in the car and don't ask any questions. I... Uh, I just want to talk to Mr. Wilkins. Oh, oh all right. Well, <laughs> thanks, Mr. Wilkins. See you again. Uh, ah, the new dad, what can I do for you? Uh, 
Did uh, Daddy buy a Christmas present for Mabel? Aye, Daddy did. Uh, what did he get? I feel I owe a duty to the customers, Dad, and I told Dave I would not say anything. Uh, oh, that's all right. <laughs> I know Mabel got him a wristlet watch because she told me. I suppose Dave will tell me what he got for Mabel. Now, <clears throat> I want a present for Dave, and uh, I know I'd uh, better not get him a wristlet watch. Ah, we'll have a look around, have a look around. Is there anything here that strikes your eye? Well, what about uh, this brush and comb set? It uh, looks pretty good to me. Ah, we'll da- I don't know. Uh, is there anything else that you can see? Uh, no, I'm in a hurry. Uh, is, uh, is this space here for the initials? Aye, that's for your initials. Uh, well, how much is the brush and comb set? Uh, Thirty-two and six. All right, <laughs> wrap it up and give it to me now. Dave will be very pleased to receive a brush and comb set. <laughs> oh, too right, he will. <laughs>